We got my Clash mixed with C4 in here. We're going to do two scoops of that goodness, guys. Boom. And we just got a box of the Quest Bars sent to me. Cookies and cream, guys. Not necessarily my favorite, but pretty good. Everyone really hyped these up online, but they're not as like amazing as everyone makes them out to be. Still think the uh, cookie dough is way better. What's up, guys? Just taking some, finishing my pre-workout before I step into the weight room. And uh, pre-workout's interesting to me because as I made an entire video on it, I, I, I think it's it works, but I don't think it's necessary because I think it's more of a mind game, a placebo effect, guys. It's uh, But you know what? Obviously, I believe in science. What movie is that from? Does anybody know what movie that's from? Um... You know what, I try to make these videos not necessarily just about me, so you're not just watching, oh, you know, here's, you know, me doing bench press, here's me doing deadlifts, here's my progression. I try to make it, you know, interactive and get you guys, you know, involved in a topic, and then you still see my pro progress. So, today's topic is going to be, not necessarily pre-workout, but placebo effects of what things that you do, that you, you, you do it because you think it helps you, it may not be helping you, but even though it's not helping you, you thinking that it is going to help you ends up helping you guys. So we're going to go do some bench and I will see you guys in the commentary. All right, guys, we got some bench footage for you today. I know I haven't done bench in a while. I actually had a bench video a while back, but I accidentally deleted the video. So sad, guys. But we are in here doing 5x5 five five of attempting 235 pounds by myself, this is the first time I've actually unracked the weight entirely by myself. The last set I did have to go down to 225, but I wanted to talk to you guys about placebo effects. As you guys know, you may have commented, I use Addy Power squat shoes for bench, I use the belt for bench, which Nick Wright, Mr. NWB, Smarty Pants, will say you don't need the belt. And guys, I don't think you do need the belt. I don't think you need the belt, I don't think you need the shoes, I don't think you need to do the crazy setup that I do that I actually stole from Bob from Olympus Iron. But a lot of things that you do in the gym will be placebo effects, guys. You do them because you feel safer with them, you feel more comfortable with them, and you feel like it helps you even though if it doesn't. But regardless of if it actually helps you, if you are thinking it will help you, sometimes that can actually have an effect on you. So what you're seeing here, I did the first set. I did my setup, I'm wearing my belt, and I'm wearing my shoes as you guys see. Now the reason I wear the shoes is because I want that three quarters of an inch higher to have my feet so I don't raise my feet. But what I did is on the second set of 235 pounds, look at look at my look, here we go. I do not have shoes on, I do not have a belt on, and I do not, not do my crazy setup. So I wanted to show you guys that it's not necessarily that I need these things to benefit me in my bench press, but I just prefer to do them because I, I when I put them on, it's like a it's almost like part of my ritual of getting prepared for the bench. But I wanted to show you guys that, you know, I don't need it. Look, I'm doing 235 pounds, five sets of five, or a set of five here. You know, my feet aren't coming off the ground. I'm not wearing the belt. I didn't do my crazy setup. But to me, it's beneficial to wear the belt because, again, I am so comfortable with the way it feels around my stomach that I've just gotten used to it and I like it. And, again, if I can use something in competition, I'm going to do it, regardless of if it actually has a benefit, whatever Nick Wright would say. Um, and the reason that I do my crazy setup is that really allows me to dig my shoulder blades into the bench. If you guys watch older videos, I know you'll make a comment that I would, right before I would take the weight off of the rack, I would kind of lift my shoulder blades up and reposition and I'd lose all the tightness. What this allows me to do, you're seeing here, it allows me to dig my shoulder blades into the bench and allows me to really lock it in. Also doing that is, so look how big that arch is in my back. Um, it's going to allow me to get the biggest arch possible because uh, the further the further I dig uh, my shoulder blades into the into the bench, and then the further back I can scoot my feet on the bench before I plant them, the bigger the arch, guys. And what's the point of the arch? Obviously, to increase the size of your chest, put the chest a little higher to make the range of motion a little smaller. Does it just make it simpler? I mean, Brandon Campbell does a completely flat chested bench. He doesn't have a flat chest, but he does bench without really an arch, and it works for him. But again, it, it, it's what is in your mind guys and the belt the belt I don't feel the belt does not help me do bench guys I don't need the belt but again I it really really feels great around my stomach I like it um, again I like the way it looks guys just kidding that's not the purpose of it but that's the kind of the idea of this video what things do you guys do in the gym that is kind of a ritual for you like you can do it without it but maybe you feel better if you have those things for me my bench is I love having my added powers I love having my belt on and I love 
digging my shoulder blades into the bench because I feel it's beneficial. Um, when I did that set without my shoes on, it, it, like I could do it, but it almost felt like kind of weird, and I didn't like that. And yeah, it's like, Max, you could just do it for a while and you get used to it, but it's like, it, it's not necessary. I don't need to not do that. So, um, you know, obviously I'm going on some accessories here. I want to show you guys a little of my chest progress. Look at that. Mmm. Striations, guys. Striations. Finishing up with some chest flies, but that's the topic of this video. I want to ask you guys, what things do you do in the gym? Whether it be maybe before your shoulder workout, you always do um, mobility bands. Or maybe, you know, b before you go into your set, you got to smack yourself in the face. Do you need to smack yourself in the face? No. Maybe it helps. Maybe it doesn't placebo effect. What is your guys' opinion? Hope you like this video, this interesting topic. Leave some comments down below. Love all you guys. See you later.